Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shweek Chima. Today we will talk about chronic kidney disease and this is first video about chronic kidney disease in which I will talk about five things you need to know about chronic kidney disease. Uh, question number one is what is chronic kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease refers to a long-term and progressive damage to the kidney leading to gradual loss of kidney function. In medical term, we define it as structural or functional damage to the kidney tissues or cells with some implications for health. And in most cases, it should be present for more than three months for us to call it chronic kidney disease as opposed to acute kidney injury. <clears throat> in simple terms, you could say it's a chronic and progressive but irreversible loss of kidney function. The kidneys play a crucial and significant role in filtering the waste products uh, from the blood, regulating the blood pressure and maintaining balance of electrolytes in the body. So when kidneys are damaged, uh, all these functions become less efficient and the waste products accumulate in the body and patient would feel sick. CKD is categorized or chronic kidney disease is categorized into five different stages based on the estimated glomerular filtration rate or EGFR which means how well the kidneys are filtering the blood. Uh, these stages are from stage 1 to stage 5. In stage 1 your kidney function and GFR is more than 90 but there is something wrong with the kidney other than a fall in GFR. In stage 2 your kidney function <coughs> decreases from 90 to 60 and in stage 3 from 30 to 60 and stage 4 from, 4 from 15 to 30 and the last stage is stage 5 chronic kidney disease when your kidney function and GFR is less than 15. That's where you develop end stage renal disease requiring dialysis or transplantation. The second thing you must know about prevalence of kidney disease, it's a, it's a prevalent disease with global prevalence around 9.1%. But surprisingly, in USA, 15% of adults, according to CDC, which makes it around 37 million people, uh, this data is from 2019, 37 million people. One in seven people have kidney disease. And uh, the significant aspect or astonishing effect about this is nine out of 10, they don't even know they have kidney disease. Because at early stages, the kidney disease is asymptomatic. And the risk and prevalence of kidney disease is increasing with the age. So with the aging global population, the burden of CKD is expected to rise. The third aspect you need to know about chronic kidney disease is what causes chronic kidney disease. Diabetes is the number one cause, causing maybe 45 to 50 percent cases of chronic kidney disease. Then comes the high blood pressure or hypertension, which causes another 20 to 30 percent cases. So diabetes and hypertension both together makes it up to 70 to 80 percent of cases of chronic kidney disease. Then there are other causes like glomerulonephritis or polycystic kidney disease, kidney infections and kidney stones. So these are the common causes of chronic kidney disease. The fourth thing you need to know, which is very important, that in most cases, Kidney disease could be as it was at stage 4, but still there would be no symptom. Only when the kidney disease is quite adverse, you start feeling or having some symptoms like fatigue or weakness, swelling in the ankles or feet, increase or decrease in urine output, persistent itching, loss of appetite, nausea or vomiting, difficulty sleeping, muscle cramps, changes in the urine color and high blood pressure. But the significant thing is at early disease or early stage, there would be no, no symptoms. So that brings us or the fifth thing you must know about chronic kidney disease. That high risk population should be screened because early detection could prevent, reverse and cure kidney disease. So people who are at a high risk of kidney disease like people who have diabetes or high blood pressure, or have a family history of kidney disease, or patients who are more than 60 or have cardiovascular disease, they should be screened for chronic kidney disease. Now the question that I say is, is screening difficult for chronic kidney disease? Actually not. There are two simple tests you must do. 
one serum creatinine from where you would calculate your estimated glomerular filtration rate and assess the kidney function and second would be spot a random urine for protein and creatine ratio or albumin to creatinine ratio because if there is protein in the urine or albumin in the urine that could be the first manifestation of early kidney disease especially in people with diabetes and glomerulonephritis. I would end this video by saying that regular screening plays a vital role in the early detection and management of chronic kidney disease in high-risk population. In next video, we will talk about if you are recently diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, what are the top five things you must do if you are diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Shafiq Chima.